Hey guys, I'm Dorian and you are YouTube. So I installed Manjaro this morning and I've been playing with it all day and this is my second attempt at uh, playing with an arch distro and the first one didn't go so well. This one went pretty well. Maybe it's because most of the work was done for me. I just said I want this Manjaro with GNOME and I installed it pretty straightforward. No issues. Um, I like it. Like this is the login screen here. It's clean. The graphics are kind of neat background. I like this uh, high-tech looking uh, login here. Highlighting effects. Um, in the end, it's GNOME, right? Like they just made it look how they wanted it to look. Um, about Arch, my last um, attempt installing pure Arch from scratch didn't go so well. It kind of worked, had some issues, uh, made things worse. I kind of crashed it a bit. I recovered it. Uh, I managed to get GNOME on it and then it got worse and went downhill from there and uh, I found all this effort that I was doing um, even though it was custom I didn't see any benefit for me since I like to have a working desktop so Manjaro kind of does some of the work for you if I want to do a minimal install I'll use uh, the Ubuntu mini ISO like in my other videos and just build up from scratch I will try Arch pure arch again don't worry and I'm gonna try a more minimal uh, approach and not go so crazy and see if I can make things better so anyways this is Manjaro with the GNOME desktop a um, couple things and you just saw this pop up now um, I'll get to that later I'll leave that there um, I like the layout I like the colors um, of course, this is all, um, you know, the lipstick. This is all making everything pretty. Um, I'm not normally a huge fan of very dark themes, but this kind of works. And, uh, you know, it's got the, the darkness all the way around that matches, unlike when I was just trying um, Ubuntu 17.10 colors on the top bar and sidebar didn't match just drove me crazy and um, you can go in here though and you can change your stuff so that you know you've got lighter colors which is good because um, when I'm using something like uh, LibreOffice you know this is okay to work on a document um, when you when you have it like this um, Nope, didn't mean to drag that. Sorry, my apps menu is normally at the top on my base system. Um, so yeah, see this just seems like I'm working in a little box. And I can make it bigger. I could work like this. Uh, but I don't know, it's so... It's too dark. There's too much darkness. So, but anyways, you could change it. So that's not a big deal. I like this. Um, I've seen a couple little glitches here and there like if you look in the extensions here this when you have a button in your uh, window title title bar it uh, has this weird box around it it goes away when you put the mouse over but yeah I don't know while I'm on this extensions tab uh, I do like that they install some handy extensions by default this is a fresh install. This is like what, what you'll get. I've played around with it a, a little bit. Um, but yeah, dash to dock, I, I normally install. Open weather, I normally install. Place of status, removable drive menu. These are top icons plus. These are all things that I install uh, whenever I install GNOME. So this is really nice to have it already kind of done for me. Um, one thing I will say with regards to software updates I know it's arch so I'm not used to it um, but this stuff didn't come up right away and I'm not sure exactly what I did but uh, nothing was showing up at all and I didn't understand and after a reboot I got a message that popped up 
you know, warning me about using the um, AUR repos and be careful which packages you choose and because it's a open community so I don't really know what happened with that um, so I went here and I opened the software update and um, I had some updates and they all installed they were fine and when I was done I hit the back button and then I had all my categories and everything was full it wasn't there before so I don't know what kicked off uh, getting all the packages to show up but maybe it was just a matter of forcing an update or checking for an update and then you know it went ahead and updated all its repository info and whatnot um, another thing this thing popped up here telling me to update the kernel so it's like okay so check this and I know Arch you know, it was very much like a lot of um, minimal um, desktop setups where you know what you're doing. Um, this one, I don't, I don't know if I would call Manjaro a power user um, distro. I could be wrong. I don't know. It seems like something that you know I might recommend to someone because you know, hey, it's it's got GNOME on it. It's, you know, but playing with kernels, that should be in the background. I don't, I don't know if that should pop up saying, hey, you should install kernels, and then, okay, and I'm just going to pick, you know, the kernel with the biggest number and say install, because that would make sense to a uh, regular end user, right? Oh, well, the version with the biggest number is the one that I want, but not necessarily. And the settings manager is kind of buried away which I'm not a fan of either I figured you know go here and go to settings but no this is the gnome settings and um, the Manjaro settings are tucked away in the menu and where were they yeah under other and Manjaro settings and then you've got your kernel you got keyboard date time and hardware configuration. Hardware configuration, if you use Ubuntu, is like the uh, additional drivers um, application in Ubuntu. So, kind of buried away, which is good, but it pops up letting you know um, you should update a kernel when maybe you shouldn't. So, if you go back into other, there's the Manjaro notifier settings. If you go here, this is the default settings to check unsupported kernels and to check new kernels and only notify recommended kernels. By default, I don't think this should be checked and I think only notify LTS kernels should be checked. That's just me. I mean, myself, I don't care. I don't just willy-nilly go in and update and click, oh yes, let's update to this unknown whatever um, but I think for end users this should be the default settings and then someone who knows what they're doing can come in and you know say well that's what I want and that's what I want and but that's just me <clears throat> um, so other than that um, I do like Manjaro in general um, I was browsing through the um, the apps here, and you know, there's everything that you'd find on any other distro. So, um, would I recommend it? Yes. Was it easier than going pure Arch and setting up my own system? Yes. Uh, do I like it better than Ubuntu? Don't know yet. Um, I've been using Ubuntu for so long because uh, you know, I like the community. I'm familiar with the repos. It's just one of those things when you you pick one and you you stick with it, right? Um, comes with Flash. I don't know why that should be removed by now. You shouldn't have to have that. Um, firewall configuration, awesome. Evolution, not a fan. Uh, while I'm through here, I want just want to say 
I really like the icon themes. They're uh, they're very pretty. And uh, yeah, um, comes with uh, LibreOffice and everything else that you'd find in GNOME, right? You know, this is the system monitor and everything. I found when logging in that um, I was using 870 megs of RAM, which is about the same as Ubuntu. I think Ubuntu might actually be a little bit lower, but don't quote me on that. And uh, yeah, I just downloaded and installed this today, and it has GNOME Shell 3.26.1, which is Manchester. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use it for a while. I'm going to throw it on one of my machines that I will use, um, not my daily machine, but I will use often enough. And uh, maybe I'll do a little update later if I run into any issues, but so far so good. I'm not gonna go, um, you know, trying out new kernels or installing a new desktop environment just yet. I'll stick with GNOME. And um, one thing I found funny is that Steam is installed by default, which I haven't seen before, but that's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, anyways, that's it for Manjaro. Um, i to play with it for a little while, but pretty happy with it so far. And I'm actually happier with the way this looks than Ubuntu 17.10's GNOME installation, just because of how it looks. I, the transparency, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll play. I'll, I'll revisit Ubuntu and try to change the theme some more. But I like this. I like how it looks. I like how um, the repo runs. It's pretty fast. I like the... I, I don't like the kernel settings. That's about it. So, but anyways, I'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, if you want to try it out on their website, they have uh, all different flavors. You can install the GNOME version, you can install uh, the XFCE version, and there's a, there's a few options for you to choose from. So don't be scared because it's based on Arch, because I was a little worried. Give it a try, and uh, yeah, subscribe. I'll, I'm going to try to do some more reviews here, wrap up the end of 2017 on all the different distros, and give you a quick idea of what they look like and what they're all about. And uh, I'll probably do like um, long-term reviews later on. So I'll probably do another Manjaro one in a little while after I play with it for some time. All right, till next time.